So this is a, a sort of an interactive map based on LiDAR imagery. Uh, I think it was created by the Discovery Project and it's on Sketchfab. Basically what it enables you to do is to have a look at the uh, the Boyne Valley landscape and the monuments in a sort of very interesting, at an interesting level of detail. So here's the, here's the Boyne River looping around the monument complex. So the main monuments are there. There's uh, Newgrange in the center. Up here is Nowth and all of its satellite mounds. And then the upper right here is Douth. And you can even see there, it's a little bit difficult to control at the beginning. You have to kind of get used to, uh, with the crater on top of it, the uh, excavations that took place there in the 1840s. But there are lots of other monuments, recorded monuments. So for instance, here's Mound A in the fields below Newgrange. And you can see the remains of the enclosure around it. Mound B down on the floodplain of the Boyne. Uh, you can see features like the ritual ponds here. This is an enclosure called Site P, down very close to the river. And indeed, there appears to be an, an annex to it, an extra feature uh, joined onto it. Very interesting. Over here, Site N, a ring fort overlooking the Boyne on the bend there. Uh, site M, uh, an Iron Age sort of complex, multi valid ring fort and other structures. So a lot of these are recorded monuments. There is a cursus, the U-shaped cursus beside Newgrange maybe some sort of a ceremonial sort of walkway uh, leading towards Newgrange. Very interesting. There are other things, um, I mean I presume the archaeologists have seen these. There's a possible archaeological feature there. It may or may not be an archaeological feature. Um, this one looks quite obviously circular. Um, just trying to figure out whether that might be Mound E. If I can remember where I where my, my bearings. No, that's not Mound E, because there's Mound E there. Mound E has a square sort of platform, a raised platform around it. I believe this is the remains of Mound U. There are still some such stones there. That's very interesting, that one there. Very interesting to say the least. Uh, as I say, I presume they've seen these. That might be something there. And I know that in recent times the remains of a passage tomb has been found in this area that has been documented some of the stuff isn't even obvious on uh, on lidar anyway it's uh, it's a great way to show you various archaeological features as well as the landscape unfortunately it doesn't just qu extend quite as far as the uh, um uh, site q the douth henge but you can see what the archaeologists maintain might be a raised routeway that runs uh, parts of it can't be seen but it runs from Douth towards the Henge at Site Q and appears to uh, 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 meet one of the entrances at Site Q and then emerge from the other from the other side. So I'll uh, paste the link to this uh, into the description of the video below so that you can go and see it yourself uh, with your own browser and uh, you zoom in and out, I'm zooming in and out using the mouse wheel and then you just click the left uh, mouse button and drag to move it around so that you can see various uh, parts of it from various angles.